Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is another Coffee with Carrie and hello. Day six of the brown rice diet and not a lot. To, no, there is a lot to report actually. There is, yeah. I mean, yesterday you saw me and actually, no, before we get going, I keep forgetting to say this. Please subscribe and click the bell. Ah, I need to get used, used to this uh, YouTube stuff. So yeah, please subscribe, click the bell, and then you will be notified every time I produce a new video, what the topic is, and whether or not you want to click in and watch. So thank you. But yeah, day six, woke up, oh, so blasé, so bleh. Exactly as I remember the brown rice diet being. Um, and a lot of emotion came up yesterday morning. There was a lot of anger, there was a lot of sadness, a lot of frustration. And it's really because I'm allowing the space for that to happen. When you're not distracted with thoughts of food, with the fluctuations of the mind from food, uh, with... Um, yeah, just, and time, the time that you have. Because remember, I am sitting here on a beach doing nothing at the same time. Um, when you put those things together, you create the space, you create the environment for the emotions to appear, to for you to actually notice them. And yeah, yesterday I had these waves of emotion and I just had to sit with them and deal with them. And that was fine. That was okay. There, I mean, yesterday in itself was a pretty dull day for me. Like I didn't do a lot. I didn't have the energy to do a lot. I didn't want to do a lot and that was okay. Read my book. Oh, I snoozed in the hammock, which was absolutely delightful. Really, really, really delightful. Um, yeah, did some writing, did some meditating. So not a lot of action. And that's the point. But there was a lot of questioning going on in my mind. At one point, I, I, decide, I nearly made my mind up to give up, to stop. Because I was asking myself the question, well, why am I actually doing this? And have I not done enough? I'm also in a, um, another program at the moment where we're looking at yoga philosophy and we're looking at the yamas and niyamas and one of them is non-violence and the other one is truthfulness. So I'm having to on a daily basis ask myself, am I being truthful to myself and to others and, and am I uh, is there anywhere that I'm being violent towards myself or to other people and how can I be more non-violent and so I found myself yesterday questioning it's all right I need a new tripod it's a bit precarious <laughs> um, whether I why am I doing this and do I need to continue because I feel good right what the action that I have done has given me the effects that I've wanted. I've eaten nothing but brown rice for six days. So is there any need to continue? Why do I feel the need to continue to 10 days? Is it because I've got an ego thing about it? You know, like I have to, I said I would do 10 days, so I need to complete 10 days. Or is it because I, don't want to give up and go back on my word to myself and to the audience you know and I was having this dialogue within myself a lot yesterday if I give up am I a failure is it giving up or is it just deciding to stop is it violent to myself to give up or to stop and not do the 10 days do I not just want to achieve the 10 days and have that sense of achievement or is it actually more non-violent to myself and truthful to myself to do the 10 days because that's what I want no one has the answer to that apart from me 
because what's right for me hello what's right for me on Uh, on a conscience level may not be right for somebody else on a conscience level. We've got some viewers, look. You want to say hello? <laughs> it's my fans, my fan base. So I can't ask for anyone's input. I can't ask uh, for the right thing to do for forgiveness or anything like that or permission, it all has to come from within me. And how does it sit with me? Because then I've got to come on to the next day's video and say, oh, I stopped, I didn't do 10 days. Ah, see, new, new tripod. Oh, goodness me. And how to, <laughs> unedited, unplanned. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> um, how does that sit with me? It's, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So what I did do was I said that I would take each day as it comes. Each hour as it comes and decide in each hour what do I want to do. Because really I think that's the only thing I can do right now. The best thing I can do for me right now is just to decide. And if I decide that's enough because my body says that's okay, we're done now, thank you then I should honour that rather than being cruel to myself and pushing and pushing and pushing to 10 days. I'm not ill. I feel better. My toe, oh, well, I would show you my toe, but it's covered in sand. I've been for a swim, so you can't see it. My toe is pretty much healed. So yeah, th this is the, the dilemma I was having yesterday. But yesterday I was having it in an aggressive discussion, in an aggressive conversation with myself which obviously was not non-violent. And today, it's more of a, ah, well, this is an interesting dialogue. I'm not enjoying the spaciness. Like I get up and it takes me 20 minutes to realize where I am or, you know, that I should move. Um, I hope you like the beach look, by the way, just been for a swim. Um, yeah, then it takes me another 50 minutes to be like, oh, I'll brush my teeth. <laughs> I'm not enjoying the spaciness at all. I am enjoying the, the weight loss. I am enjoying that. And I, I, I am actually enjoying the, the lack of energy to do anything too involved. Because as I said, I desperately needed the rest. I'm enjoying that element. Although I'm not enjoying the, yeah, but I need to do this. And I get this surge of guilt that I'm not doing something. Or that, you know, I see all of this list of things that I could be doing. And instead I take zero action. But that's what I came here to experience. The emotions behind doing nothing. So had I, if I have energy, if I'd have eaten, and I would have acted on those urges. But because I have a lack of energy, I'm observing the emotion come up. Observing my almost uh, desperation to take action. but not having the energy to do anything about it. It's very interesting, very, very interesting. Hmm. So will I continue? I don't know. Will you still love me if I don't? I don't know. Will I love myself if I don't? I don't know. Or maybe I'll carry on. If, hour by hour, that's all I can promise, hour by hour. Unplanned, unprepared, unedited. You love me with all of these flaws. I know you do, speak soon. Oh, subscribe, please. <laughs> yeah, I remembered. Please subscribe, please click the bell. It's not always gonna be about brown rice, I promise. Speak to you soon.